Welcome everybody. I wanted to take an opportunity after just hitting level 85 yesterday. Uh, probably the best time in almost all of Star Wars Galaxy Heroes uh, to hit level 85. Um, to take an opportunity to review my roster, look at where my account is currently. I'm probably about to start streaming some of my gameplay since GAC is about to start back up. And this is probably the best time to have a semi-centric, uh, semi-GAC-centric account um, in the game, considering the changes that just happened to Squad Arena and no longer counting for uh, crystals. You can no longer get crystals out of here, so that moved over to GAC. Uh, great time to make that crossover <laughs> into level 85 just a couple of days before the next GAC starts. Um, so this is my, my uh, free-to-play account. I just wanted to kind of chronicalize where I'm at currently, what I plan on doing with this account as we move into GAC, which was just unlocked yesterday. So currently I'm in Carbonite 4. My skill rating is 1593. I do not have a single GAC battle. I would show you my card, but there's a little thing I want to feature here in a little bit. Um, don't have a single GAC battle yet on this account, so this should be kind of fun. I took some of the lessons that I learned from my Hyperdrive Bundle account as I grew that account a couple of weeks later. I started this account. Uh, all in all, I think I've only been playing the game about five months now. I spend a metric boatload of time watching videos, watching streamers. Uh, I just enjoy playing the game, and I, I wanted to share that experience with other people. Sometimes it feels like... You know, I, I've run out of content to watch. I don't know if anyone else is like me in that regards, but I really do enjoy content on this game. So hopefully I enjoy making it, and that's really why I'm going to do this. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, I hope you hit the like, thumbs up, all that other good stuff. I really don't care about it. I'm not doing it for that. Um, but if you do want to subscribe, I probably will find a way to start posting some of my early GAC stuff into this uh, and try to draw them out and kind of go through and see how it goes. It's going to be quick early on, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll progress as I go along, hopefully up into the next division, and might get a little more exciting there. So let's go ahead and look at the roster. Um, this account, like I said, level 85, I have 790,000 GP. Uh, I started off going down the AP Gains free-to-play guide and then... Something happened that allowed me to get Geonosian Brute Alpha while I was still level 72, which you don't unlock the node for until you're level 83, so it kind of shifted my focus into Separatists. Um, I started grinding Spy, Sunfax, Soldier, Brood, Poggle. I hadn't even ground much into these guys at that point, and then I took them all up to uh, 7 stars. I left Geonosian Brute Alpha at 4 stars until I hit level 83, which is when you unlock his node, and I took him up. He was my first Zeta. Um, Rightfully so. He's, he was great. My whole shard was plagued with bugs. It still is. Um, it's just kind of stagnant, so I'm glad that they did away with Squad Arena when they did, honestly, because I was just, no one was moving anywhere, and I had bugs, and I did it for a specific reason, and I'll get into that as I go along. Um, so I have a couple of Separatist teams. I have pretty much all of the Separatist units that you can get uh, at this stage in the game unlocked, and most of them to seven stars, with the exception of... And I, I do really enjoy playing Separatist. It's been kind of fun. It's it's a welcome break from what I did on my main account. As soon as I unlocked Padme, I just kind of left my bugs where they were and never touched them again. Um, but I knew what they were capable of because I used them to unlock Padme, so I knew I'd have a good time using them. So, like you see here, most of the Separatists are unlocked. Um, I have B1 at 3 stars, Dreadicott 4, Ventress is ready to go up. I'm looking at doing a gas run, but it's I, I'm not too sure about what I want to do with it yet. I don't think I want to do a gas run just yet because I think I want to put some get into gear. It's probably not the wisest choice, but it's what I'm going to do. Um, just with a shift in GAC focus, I want to build some teams really quick, and I want to get them to gear 12. So that's what you see I'm doing here. I'm starting off with the bugs because they are my primary fleet. Uh, Sunfac, Geonosian Soldier, and Spy. And then I'm using... A general grievous team of separatists or droids as well. Um, Droidica isn't on the team. I did put B1 on the team. I may take him off unless I can get him up to a relatively higher gear level. But uh, I need to remod him as well. Um, Dooku, I did put his Zeta on because I plan on taking him to gear 12 soon as well. 
Uh, the teams that I'm looking at running out of this um, are the GL Newt team with Newt Gunray, Django, and Dooku. And again, this is early GAC. This account's still early, so I'm kind of trying to spread some GP across teams, primarily focusing on the Geonosians because they are such a good early team, especially in GAC. It's really hard for people to get uh, the right teams to deal with bugs. Um, but I'm not going to put them on defense like most people have historically, and I'll get into why here in a little bit and kind of the theory with how I'm crafting these teams. So this is what my Separatists look like. They're the most developed part of my roster. I do have Padme to 7 stars. I unlocked her at level 81. I've had her for a while now, but like I said, I really want the bugs to come up because they are my primary fleet and my primary squad arena team, albeit as useless as squad arena, uh, arena now is. There is some good gear that they're putting in there. Some stuff that previously was a little harder to get uh, is now more accessible, like the Mark V Fusions and the Mark VII Nubian uh, security scanners. So that is kind of nice. So I do still want that squad currency out of there. But um, yeah, so between my Separatists, I do have three teams, really, because I do have a, a droid team that's coming up because Grievous is maxed out where he is right now. He just needs couple more abilities i'm going to put that second zeta on him and i'm going to take these two abilities up to omega as well um but at four stars he really just doesn't get the strength that you need because all of his offense is based off of his health and i just don't have the greatest mods in the world um for him i i did what i could with what i have i've got a lot of health on him which is what you want i've got some speed um only 158 but really he's going to be taking bonus turns as droids die off so hopefully I can get some more health on him as time goes on and I am actively looking for his shards I'm not using shard drop currency for him but I am picking him up whenever they show up in the fleet shop and you can see the last piece here uh, it's a stun gun but whatever it needs seven stars so he's kind of stuck where he's at but um, that's fine I'm, I'm okay with it where he is for right now this should be plenty uh, these three teams right here between the GL Newt team with Django. Django hits like a truck, especially under Newt Gunray lead. Um, really hard to deal with. And then you put Count Dooku in there at gear 12 once I get him up there. That's going to be a really hard team for anyone to deal with if I wanted to put it on defense. It'll be a great team on offense. Probably won't get the best banners. I think if I was going to put any of these teams on defense, it would be the Grievous team just because he's going to strip banners down because of his, uh, his AOE attack, the Grievous wounds. Um, this is just a, a nasty attack that just takes a lot of hit points from the enemy. Uh, and then moving down, I do have uh, Padme. Barris is going to come up to um, seven stars here soon. I'm probably going to look at applying some gear and Zetas to Darth Vader here soon. But uh, let's go into my squads and see what I have set up here. So I'm holding off on Qui-Gon even though it says gear ASAP. I'm holding off on him for right now. Um, I do have Qui-Gon Jinn with the Omicron applied to my main account, so I'm going to play around with that, see what it looks like, and if I think it's good, if it turns out to be, you know, what, what it looks like it is on paper, I'll probably apply him as, uh, his Omicron as my first Omicron on this account. Um, my primary Zetas that I want to go for, so the next Zeta that I want to apply is going to be Darth Ray. I still got ways to go on her, but that's fine. I can sit on it. In the meantime, I'm going to start putting Zetas on Padme and really getting her ready because I really don't need to put too many more. My next Zeta is going to Grievous, actually. I'm putting that second Zeta on. But then I'm going to start applying them to Padme. Um, and after I've applied some to Padme, I will put one on. I, I want both Padmes, then I'll go for Jedi Knight and Anakin after that. Hopefully, I have Trey unlocked somewhere around then. Uh, I'm hitting this a lot more reliably now that I have the bugs up. Uh, I can get a lot more damage done in that that uh that event and then once i start gearing up my padme team i'll that'll be a nice help too so this is what the current iteration of the general grievous team looks like um i have ig86 in there it's not ideal but it gets the job done for right now um the reason that i have ig86 is because um his node is the node that you need to unlock vulture droid which i have at five stars 33 grinding up to six stars so and he's not bad. You know, he's got this crit chance for each living droid, and I've got all droids on the team. This one calls a random ally to assist. And then B1 assists on every attack. And his basic, when he assists, he grants health 
up back to the team. So they recover 5% of the leader's max health. I don't have the Omega on it, so it's the max health. But that's cool because Grievous is a great lead to have for that ability. Um, and the way that this team works, you know, this guy, this guy, this guy, they all they all stealth up. These two don't stealth right off the bat. I need to mod these better and gear up Magna Guard a little bit more so that he's a little um, more likely to, to take most of the hits and get his taunt off and survive longer so that B2 can just keep putting target locks on everyone. But it's, it's a solid team, even where it's at. Um, I've used it for some low-level stuff at this level, and it's been fun. So these are... You know, my two primary teams, I want to use the Padme team eventually as well. I'm also looking at bringing this team up. So there's been a lot of shade on Darth Talon. But one thing that I want to point out is the way that her kit works with these two in particular. And I call this the Fly Swatter team. <clears throat> Once you get Treya unlocked, which you should be doing as early as you possibly can, going for Treya. Um, not that one. Her leadership. Once you have the Zeta. When an enemy uses an ability outside of their turn, they take 35% of their max health as damage, uh, or they take damage equal to 35% of their max health. So this right here is how you defeat bugs. They just destroy themselves, and then you just kind of tap them on the nose, and they die. Um, and the way that this team works, even at low gear, uh, you put Trey in the lead, you bring Scion in. Scion is your tank. You want him. I'm, I'm currently grinding him. Uh, I got a ways to go, but uh, I want to get him up to seven stars, so I do hit him several times a day um, because I also want that shuttle. And then Talon, so with Talon's, uh, what is it? Is it proven loyalty? I want to say that it is. Uh, let's see, seven star ability. Um, where is it? Darth Talon can't be defeated by this damage. Nope. So this is basically saves the leader. This ability right here uh, makes it so that the first time that Treya would die, she doesn't. Darth Talon takes some damage. They all dispel debuffs, whatever. Um, but the leader stays alive, right? So this is going to keep Treya alive for a little bit longer, give Treya some survivability. Furthermore, once she takes any damage below 100% health, right? Uh, Sith tanks gain retribution and taunt. So the way that it works against bugs, if bugs try to go for Treya, Treya's going to die. She's going to come back. Talon is going to take health damage. Scion's going to taunt. Once Scion's taunted, the bugs have to dispel that taunt on Scion. So that buys you at least two turns right there. And then if they go back for Treya, it's whatever, but you've taken a crap load of health away from them by that point. Ideally, this team survives long enough for the bugs to just die. So, and Talon is a key part of that because she grants a lot of survivability to the team in general. So, at end game, I can see why a lot of players don't like Talon, but I think at this early level game, I think Talon's going to be a big help to these two because it allows you to grind her passively through your guild. You get her for free. You just throw a Zeta on her and get some abilities and gear her up. Uh, Scion, you have to actively grind, but if you got Darth Talon during that event, Scion's really the only one that you have to actively grind, right? So not a bad look there, and it's a three-member team that you can go in and take out Geonosians, which a lot of players at early GAC like to put on defense. So if you, you can knock out the Geonosians early, it gives you a huge leg up. Um, I'm still looking at, uh, you know, a decent amount of time before I get Treya, but... I'm, I'm grinding this team in the background, right? That's not my priority right now, but eventually this will be a, a massive asset to have on my team. Um, and that'll that'll be a guaranteed win uh, in a lot of ways. And this team can handle other teams as well. But uh, that's the primary goal is to be able to handle those. Um, this is what I'm looking at if I was going to use Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, Barris ideally would go with my Padme team down here. But in GAC, I can really take these four members in and get a lot of wins against teams that are a lot better uh, geared and higher level than they are. So when General Kenobi is about to unlock, I'm going to gear him up to 8. I'm going to take Pat, uh, Ahsoka to 8. I'll take Padme to 8. And then I'll probably bring them up to gear 10, gear 11, something like that. Let them sit there. I'm trying to you know, gear most of my teams up to 12 and then selectively relic after that. This will probably be my first relic team, though. Once I get bugs... Uh, up to gear 12, I may continue. Well, I may continue with the pilots, but um, I'm not super worried about that right now. They're actually pretty fine where they're at, but I do want to get them to 12 so that I can 
uh, hit for watt shards. So that's the goal with this team is to be able to hit for watt and then eventually be able to use this team in light side territory battles. And I can actually bring something to the fight with my guild because 790 uh, GP just isn't the greatest. But if once I'm at a million, you know, I've got, I can hit for watt, I can do some stuff in light side territory battles. That'd be awesome. All right. So after that, I got a couple of players that I'm bringing up. Actually, Kylo Ren on Mass is currently where I'm putting everything. I'm, I want to take him up to gear 11 pretty soon, maybe even gear 12, so that I can throw him on defense and maybe get some holds in GAC with just Kylo Ren on Mass and whatever I can put around him. But if he's in the lead um, and maybe put a Zeta on him, you know, his, his abilities are pretty good. Um, even without the Zeta, when he takes damage, he recovers 8% health and he has a massive health pool. Uh, so, and you can see here, I don't have I'm not really focused on speed with my mods for him. It's mostly about defense and health so that I can just keep him alive. Um, this I want to swap out for a health mod. I'll do that eventually. I'll probably do it when I get off the stream while I remember it. Um, but yeah, so the goal here is to just make him super tanky, right? And make him hard to kill, make it a one person timeout team. Uh, especially in early GAC, that is a really nasty strategy. A lot of a lot of players, if they don't have, you know, this team right here, they're going to struggle to deal with Kylo Ren and Mass early in the game because that health regeneration is just nasty. And then if you were to even take and put his Zeta on him, this Zeta here, plus 15% crit damage, 5 speed, um, plus 5% turn meter gain, and when the First Order ally gains a status effect, they recover 5% health and protection. So that's even more health and protection, and that's positive or negative status effect. doesn't matter. So he taunts, he gains, you know, <laughs> that stuff back. Um, he takes a, a damage over time. He takes any kind of ability block, whatever. Um, bugs have a hard time dealing with him, but if you have an even relatively decent spy, you can knock him out in one shot, but um, it forces them to use a good team, and most players are going to have their bugs on defense, especially if they have them in early GAC. So I'm really excited to see how, how Kylo does kind of solo. I'm not expecting a whole lot in the first couple GACs until I get him up to gear 11, which I might have him up there in a week or two. Um, we'll just see how it goes. Darth Vader, he's a one-man army, uh, but you gotta have, he, he takes a lot, he eats a lot of Zetas, so a lot of these teams I can do with lower Zetas. There's a reason that I'm, I'm putting Zetas on Grievous, and I'll get to that here in a bit, but he's a solid solo member. Kylo Ren himself is also solid. Um, the way that his kit works, I suggest you learn it and look at it. Uh, for a while, I'll probably put him on defense with Kylo Ren, but if I get decently high and I'm still seeing scrub teams on defense, I may pull him onto offense, um, especially if that's what it looks like my opponent does a lot. Bosk, I'm going to need. I just unlocked his node, but I haven't started hitting for him yet because I have other priorities of my energy for right now, but he is on the dock as well. And then I'm going to start grinding my pilots because right around the time I get to this point, I'm going to start doing my SLKR run. Um, I'll put together some scrap together teams. I will throw Cad Bane with Boba Fett and I will get Bosk. These are three super important characters that you need. Bosk is a soft requirement for so many things in this game between Millennium Falcon and Executor. Uh, both of the, the Resistance and the First Order Capital Ship, the Finalizer, and the Radis. Bosk is just you need him for everything. He's a cargo ship, so he can do the rebel or the the what is it, the smuggler's run or whatever it is. Um, bounty hunters you need for rebel roundup. Uh, so I'll use these three plus Django to make the start of my team. And then I'll probably grind IG two thousand and IG eighty eight at some point as well to round that team out to five members. It's not the ideal bounty hunter team but they are all the bounty hunter pilots and you need all those bounty hunter pilots for a lot of things in this game. So um, that's probably where I'm going to start my bounty hunter team farm at. Uh, I'll round out my Sith team. I'll probably take Basla Shan Fallen off of this now that we have Talon, um, just because Sith Empire Trooper is a great tank. Having two tanks isn't necessarily a bad thing, but the trio with Empire Trooper and Talon, I think will be an easy uh, goal early on for a Sith team. Uh, especially if I'm not grinding Darth Revan. Uh, moving on from there, that's what the GL Newt team is probably going to look like. Um, I may not have these guys on it. They're just there for right now because Asajj Ventress is a gas requirement, and so is Droidica, So, uh, And I do like Separatists, so, and I still haven't used Droidica on my main account either, so I want to see what he's like. 
Um, and then that would round me out to, you know, my guys 501st team, right? So moving on from there, more passive SLKR grinds. Um, I can grind, you know, Phasma out of Galactic War. She's almost done, actually. First Order Officer, Cantina, and then TIE Pilot and SF TIE Pilot out of the other respective stores. Um, and you need all these guys for SLKR anyways, but specifically TIE Pilot along with Bosk and his ship, their ships respectively, Kylo Ren's shuttle, which takes First Order Stormtrooper and Phasma. Um, those you need to get the finalizer, so that's why they are where they are. Um, and then once I'm, I, if I'm if I'm looking like I want to do a gas run, because by then I might be in a position where I, I can, I'll just bang out the Ewoks. I'll finish my uh, Galactic Republic fleet because I will probably need a second fleet not long after that. And I'll make them my second fleet and go for gas. Uh, and then what else? After that, really, um, I may do Bad Batch. I do like Bad Batch. I use them at this low gear. You'd be surprised what you can get done even at two stars with low gear. Um, they're going to be, I'm going to save them for offense just in case it's looking, because these guys are a high banner team. I can take them in with just these four, be down one, and finish the match against a scrub team with full banners, full health, and it's really quick and really reliable at these low levels. Um, and then, you know, maybe some CLS action, maybe push into JMK, but right now I'm looking at C and SLKR for my first two GLs. That's kind of where I want to go with this account, uh, starting with SLKR, because he is relatively easy to grind in terms of requirements. It's not the hardest, but he's also usable in a lot of modes as well, so... Um, so that's my units and where I'm at for teams right now. Moving on to ships, I've got a full Separatist team right here, and that's really it for fleet. So I need to start branching off into some Galactic Republic units, maybe some of those bounty hunters I was talking about, maybe even First Order. Um, odds are it is going to be uh, First Order for my second fleet once I scrub together a bounty hunter team uh, and the other requirements like TIE Advanced. To be able to hit for the finalizer um, and then moving down from there I unlock malevolence as soon as I hit level 85 and this is why I'm putting so much emphasis into Grievous right now I literally just got this yesterday I was at rank 24 in my fleet arena and currently I am holding rank 2 uh, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous but um, as soon as they announced the Galactic Chase, I started saving for, um, and I'll just look at this guy, I'm not going to attack him, but I started saving and hitting for Hyena Bomber and Vulture Droid right away, um, and I managed to get this fleet up. I have I don't know I've ever actually used Plo Koon, but I figure he's a good reinforcement just in case I need it, but I don't ever usually get that far. Usually uh, it takes, you know... <laughs> Most teams just don't survive. I haven't even, uh, haven't actually hit that number one dude yet, but I made it all the way to rank two without losing a single battle. Um, I just, I'm saving these last two just in case somebody does manage to knock me out of my number two slot. Uh, that way I can climb back into it. Um, but just having malevolence, what it did for me, I was able to clear all of the, <laughs> all the fleet nodes. I'm done, done with fleet. So I could start grinding Nest, which I very well may do because she's a good solo team. Um, I can continue to grind B1 for my Grievous team. I can start grinding Shock 2 clones uh, really early in the game. I just hit level 85 and I, these everything's available to me in here. So um, I'm going to, you know, hard consider it because the other factor too is I may want to go for Mando uh, and go for Bam, not because I want Bam, but because at this early in the game, he wouldn't be a bad team to throw on defense. Um, and also I'm going to need him because after C and SLKR, I should be set up pretty well for an executor run. Uh, I should be able to hit uh, some Crankor and maybe get into a better guild, or maybe my guild progresses. They've actually gone up 20 million GP since I joined them. And, uh, Oh, blue stacks. I had some difficulty with blue stacks there for a minute, sorry. But uh, anyways, to continue on, yeah, 
Um, my guild's gone up 20 million GP since I joined them, and you know I'm putting up a small amount, but a lot of the guys in the guild are on the right grind. Uh, they're working together, and we're winning a lot of territory wars. In the last eight territory wars, we've won six of them, so it's not a bad place to be. I really, I wouldn't mind staying here if uh, if everyone continues on this path. Um, but as it stands right now, you know. Um, like I said, good group of dudes, but we've had Crankor open for a minute now and not a whole lot of movement in it. Uh, I know a lot of people just aren't hitting it because, you know, I'm, I'm sure if somebody started the train on this, though, and really started going with it, uh, maybe a couple people would hit. We could see where we, yeah, see where we stand. Um, but, yeah, once, you know, once I get to that point where I'm... Um, I'm kind of on that chase, and I'm like, well, I need relegate soon. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to be looking at, at doing that, or once I get SLKR, because, you know, you get SLKR, you can contribute, and if you can contribute, I'm sure there's someone out there that wants you. So in the meantime, um, yeah, this is kind of where I'm sitting at. Um, my arena climb, like I said, is trash. It is all troopers and geos and, you know, Oh, there's a Padme team. I don't even know how that made it that high up, but um, yeah, just both versions of troopers and geos. That's <laughs> some Kylo Ren. Like you, you got to be some. You know, this is literally Maul. Is that Maul? Is that Darth Maul? That's Darth Maul, isn't it? Yeah, it's Darth Maul. Um, <laughs> it's it's kind of ridiculous that you know you've got a Relic Seven Vader. Uh, what I. I I don't understand that, but okay. Uh, at this level, I'd probably, especially without even having that, yeah. Anyways, arena, trash. I'm glad it's gone. Um, like I said, it is still relevant. Uh, if you don't know um, and you have trouble with these, especially if you're in the early game like me, uh, these Nubian security scanners, I need one more, and it's probably going to go to Magna Guard. Um, and he also is short one of these things, but yeah, those you can farm from the squad arena store. So it is still relevant, uh, to farm some of that stuff right out of here. Uh, so there's some good gear in here, some mid-level gear that you really need. And Mark seven scanners are the weird, like Yoda, Grandmaster Yoda. He needs one to get from gear nine to gear 10. My main's been sitting on that because I just don't want to apply it to him because they're so hard to get. And I didn't have a place for him until the Qui-Gon team came out. I just don't have, that's not how my roster is built. It's not built to have a spot for Grandmaster Yoda on my main. But now that Qui-Gon's out, he's probably going to get to gear 10 finally. He's been sitting on gear 9 since probably the day that I got him, and the, which was the day that I got the Hyper Red Bundle. Um, but yeah, so hopefully... Uh, GAC should be fun. I'm looking forward to it coming out. I think I stand a good chance on offense. And like I said, most of my roster, uh, if you see me around, you know, don't don't expect a whole lot on defense. <laughs> I'll just say that right off the bat. I am going to be putting some solid teams on defense. Um, looking at where I'm at right now, you know, I'm probably going to pad man prey on the back wall, put Grievous on the front wall. I'm just going to be trying to strip banners and put up teams that Looks scary early on. I think a Padme team with Barris um, on it is probably going to be, you know, what I do. Maybe throw Old Ben down there. I'm probably not going to put too much on, at least not on Old Ben right now. Uh, Barris, she's going to get to level 80. I'm going to seven star her before then, and then uh, this team maybe later, but this team for sure is going to go on defense. Um, I'll probably put the the Grievous team on defense. Maybe, uh, you know, it's not a whole lot to work with uh, for defense in terms of that, but uh, there is some stuff in here, you know, like Bad Batch guys or whatever. So it's it's going to be a fine mix of, you know, and, and I could throw onesies and twosies down as well. Like I could put Dooku on a team um, and with that Zeta and, and some more gear once, hopefully if he's like gear 10 or something like that, you know, Dooku wouldn't be anything to shake a stick at for a new player, especially with that Zeta, because he is just so hard to deal with if you don't have the damage to break through the protection, because uh, he counterattacks 
that's what he does, right? So when he attacks out of turn um, with this, he's got the 100% counter chance. He does 30% more damage uh, and recovers protection and gains crit hit immunity. But on top of that, if he has Master Mikashi, his attacks out of turn ignore protection. Um, so he's a nasty character to have, and I think a lot of people underestimate him. I know I did when I was first starting the game. Uh, same thing with, with crew, you know, and that's why I want to put those guys on defense is because it'll make a difficult roster for someone to deal with on offense. It won't be impenetrable by any means. I don't, I'm not trying to make it impenetrable yet. I'm focusing mainly on offense, but I want a defense that tricks them up. It makes them use teams on it. It makes them maybe pull in the extra members that they would. Um, because ideally, you know, there's probably going to be some teams that I can just take Newt Gunray and Django fit into and Max Banner all day. Just because Django hits so hard, Newt Gunray comes back to life. And this team's nasty on defense, too. These three on defense, holy crap. If I could afford to do that, and we'll see what it, it looks like, what my opponent's roster looks like in my first GAC. If I can put these three on defense, that's just going to be a hold. Especially in early G. If I'm facing a hyperdrive bundle account, a guy who just started playing the game, uh, maybe doesn't know what he's doing. Um, I can put these three on defense and wherever I wanted to, and they're not, they're going to get a hold. The enemy's not going to clear them. So, um, I'm excited. I can't wait for this week to come. And hopefully here in a few days, I will have a follow up video to this one, uh, with my first GAC in it. So look forward to it guys. Maybe I'll stream it. Um, I don't have Twitch set up for that yet, but I, I might figure it out before then. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys in the arena.